Assalamualaikum. May peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah be upon you and to all the messengers of Allah and in particular on the noble and the final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, his family, and his companions. We will be continuing section B planning, budgeting, and forecasting in this tutorial as well. The budgets that are directly linked with the production budget are the direct materials usage budget, the direct materials purchase budget, the direct labor cost budget and the factory overhead budget. Flexible budget. A flexible budget is a budget that is prepared after the actual level of activity is known. A flexible budget for a production department will be adjusted to the actual volume of units produced. A flexible budget for an income statement will be adjusted to the actual volume of the units sold. Zero based budgeting. Under the zero based budgeting, the budget is prepared without any reference to or use of the current period's budget or the likely operating results for the current period. Every planned activity must be justified with a cost and benefit analysis. Steps of the budget control loop. Number one, establish the budget or the standards of performance. Number two, measure the actual performance. Number three, Analyze and compare actual results with the budgeted results. Number four, investigate the unexpected variances. Number five, devise and implement any necessary corrective actions. Number six, review and revise the budget or standards if necessary. Important formulas. Formulas to determine how many units to be produced or purchased in a period is Units needed for use in the current period plus units needed for this month's ending inventory is equal to the total units needed for this period minus of the units in this period's beginning inventory is equals to the units to produce or purchase this period. The formula to calculate the budgeted cost of goods sold is beginning inventory plus expected budgeted purchases or the production is equals to the expected goods available for sale minus of the desired ending inventory is the budgeted cost of goods sold. Forecasting methods that use the regression analysis are number one time series analysis and number two causal forecasting. Correlation is the degree of the relationship between the two variables. The coefficient of correlation denoted by R measures the relationship between the two variables it is a range between the plus one that is the perfect positive and minus one that is the perfect negative. It is the proportion of the total variation in the dependent variable that can be explained by variations in the independent variable. The value of the coefficient of determination denoted by R square is ranges between the zero and the one. The T statistics or T value measures the degree to which the independent variable has a valid long term relationship with the dependent variable. The T value for the independent variable used in a simple regression should generally be greater than 2. Multiple regression analysis is used when more than one independent variable is known to impact sales or the variable being forecast and each one can be expressed numerically. There are three methods of assigning the probability values. Number one, classical method. Number two, relative frequency or objective method. And number three, subjective method. Variance and standard deviation both give a measure of the variability or dispersion of the values around the mean. Learning curve models. There are two learning curve models. Number one, the cumulative average time learning model and number two, the incremental unit time learning model. The formula to calculate the time required under both the methods is mentioned in section B of the study book. 
kindly refer to them and learn by heart. Proforma financial statements. Proforma financial statements prepared for internal use in the planning process are financial statements containing projected amounts that are expected if a particular course of action is followed. A proforma financial statement is used to compare the company's anticipated performance with its target performance and with the investor expectations. Proforma financial statements are used for what-if analysis in order to forecast the effect of a proposed change. They are used to determine in advance what the company's future financing needs will be. Various cash flow projections and sets of proforma statements may be prepared using different assumptions for different operating plans. They are used to forecast the capital requirements of the plans in order to select the plan that maximizes the shareholder value. Proforma financial statements are used to determine whether the company will be able to remain in compliance with the required covenants on its long-term debt. Establishment of direct labor standards. The standard for direct labor depends on the type of work, the nature of the manufacturing process, the type of equipment that will be used, and the required skill level of the employee. The quantity standard for direct labor is determined by the industrial engineers, the production department, the labor union, the personnel department, and the management accountants, each group using some or all of the factors listed above. The price standard for direct labor or the standard wage rate is provided by the personnel department and is a function of the competitive labor market and any labor contracts that may exist. The standard wage rate varies according to the type of employees needed and the skill level required. Increasing the superior efficiency. Superior efficiency can be increased by taking advantage of economies of scale and the effect that learning has on efficiency, using flexible manufacturing technologies, reducing the customer loss rates, adopting just-in-time inventory systems, designing new products that are easy to manufacture, training employees, utilizing self-management teams, linking pay to performance, Making use of technology such as web-based information systems to reduce the cost of coordination between the company and its suppliers and the company and its customers. Building a commitment to efficiency throughout the organization. Designing facilities that will foster cooperation among the various functions in order to improve the efficiency. Controllable and the non-controllable costs. Controllable costs refer to the cost for which the manager has the authority to make the decisions about how money will be spent. Non-controllable costs refer to costs that are ordinarily controlled at a higher level in the organization, such as the manager's salary or the bonus. Coordination and communication. Coordination means balancing the activities of all the individual units of the company in the best way so that the company will meet its goals and the individual units of a company will meet their goals. Communication means imparting knowledge of those goals to all the employees. Distinctive competencies. Distinctive competencies are strengths that a company has that enable it to have a, a differentiation advantage meaning it is able to provide the customer with benefits that exceed those of its competitors and b a cost advantage meaning it is able to provide to the customer the same benefit as its competitors do but at a substantially lower cost distinctive competencies stem from two sources resources and the capabilities efficiency and the effectiveness Efficiency is the attempt to fulfill the goals and the objectives of the company while using the least amount of the inputs. Effectiveness has to do with the actual accomplishment of goals. Though both efficiency and the effectiveness are important, effectiveness is of ultimate importance. If a company is efficient but does not accomplish what is needed, then the efforts and the resources used are wasted.
opportunities opportunities arise when companies can leverage external conditions to develop and implement strategies that will make them more profitable overheads overheads are indirect costs that cannot be traced to any particular unit produced they include indirect materials such as cleaning chemicals disposal tools or the protective devices indirect labor such as the plant superintendents plant janitors and so forth other indirect costs such as the depreciation or the manufacturing equipment utilities and other non traceable costs resources resources are factors that enable a company to create value for its customers they can be financial physical social technological or organizational factors resources can be tangible or the intangible tangible resources are things such as lands buildings inventory and cash intangible resources are non physical resources like brand names company reputation intellectual property such as the patents and trademarks and the employees knowledge single purpose plans single purpose plans are developed for a specific item such as the construction of a fixed asset the development of a new product or the implementation of a new accounting system these are also incorporated into the operating and the financial budgets during the relevant years best practices for the budgeting the best practices for budgeting are the development of the profit plan should be linked to the corporate strategy the firm's management should assess the future as it pertains to the firm's strategic goals and use the budgeting process to minimize the adverse effects that anticipated problems might have on operations the profit plan must have the support of management at all levels communication is vital the profit plan should be coordinated and operating activities of diverse business units should be synchronized budgeting should not be rigid the profit plan should be motivating device design procedures to allocate funding resources strategically managers should be evaluated on performance measures other than simply meeting the budget targets link cost management efforts to the budgeting the strategic use of the variance analysis reduce budget complexity and the budget cycle time develop budgets that can be revised if necessary review the profit plan on a regular basis throughout the year this video is made from my cma part 1 financial planning performance and analytics 2020 book the link to subscribe the same is mentioned in the description may allah lord of the heavens and the earth bless you in this world and in particular in life hereafter amen have a nice day take care allah hafiz